guys welcome back to my channel so i know it's been a while since i have even filmed a youtube video or been active on youtube or anything life has been so hectic we have been trying to move and it just seems like life keeps throwing us another curveball after another so this morning is the day that we were supposed to get the truck on april 8th 2021 and we have already reserved this, like we reserved this um, a couple months ago, and we were supposed to get a 26 foot Penske truck along with a car carrier to pull our car. Well, the place opens up at 8 a.m. Well, we get here at 7.40, 7.48, and they're open, so we go ahead and go in. Well, guess what? They ended, they ended up telling us that A, they don't have our truck, and B, they don't have our car carrier. And so we're like, are you kidding me? So then they ended up somehow finding our 26 foot truck, but they still don't have the car carrier. And they said, well, we gave it away to some random lady yesterday because she was waiting a day and a half or something, I don't know. So they ended up doing something for her, but in return, messed us up because that was already like i guess like the serial numbers or however they do it was already registered to us in their system and they don't have it so we've been sitting here for an hour going back and forth with them and i had to go to the car because i was like this is ridiculous like you know if we like reserve something then it should be here and the guy was trying to blame it on penske and it is not penske's fault because penske is not the one who gave our car dolly away or carrier or whatever it's this waters hardware in junction city kansas who gave it away and this is not the first time that they have done something like this um our friends they had moved from one house to another and they were supposed to rent a 26 foot truck and they only gave them a 16 foot. So Waters Hardware in Junction City, I do not recommend. If you all have to order from Penske and you all can have them trans like send the truck and whatever to anywhere but Waters and Hardware Junction City, please do it. Please go ahead and spare your all's like nerves because my nerves are just like shot like this like i said this move has been one thing after another and it has just been ridiculous and we also like so since they have the truck here i guess they think that we're that we can take it but we can't take it because the army requires you to weigh it empty and if you have a, a car carrier you have to weigh the truck empty with the car carrier on the back empty and have the weight ticket for it so that's just super frustrating but we're we're gonna say apparently they ended up finding a car carrier but it is in wichita kansas which is only like two hours and something away but they said that it's gonna take them six hours to get it here so now like i'm just so irritated because we need to load the truck like we need to weigh it we need to get things done my husband has um a brief he has to go to you know and it's just like it's one thing after another with this movie. all right update guys it is now 4 41 and we finally have gotten the truck and they also have the uh car trailer so now we're gonna try to hook this all up and see how it goes okay second update we're trying to put the car trailer onto the truck um i'm having anxiety because i don't even know what we're doing and it's kind of scary being in this big old truck, but Anthony's going to take care of it. He's going to figure it out, even though nobody is helping us, which is kind of irritating that the place doesn't, like, help you, but he's, like, lifting it up, trying to put it on there. There we go. It's on there. All right. So he's gonna hook it up, hook all the lights up, and, and also sorry if the wind is loud, y'all. We're still in Kansas, sadly. But he's gonna hook it all up. I'm gonna put the car on it. All right. So hopefully, um, the sound isn't too muffled. But we finally got the car onto the trailer. 
but I had to go in and ask somebody for help because I have no clue what I'm doing, but we finally got it up, and now Anthony is just, um, getting some chains, I guess, attached to it. I really don't know, but, yep. Okay, guys, so this is how you weigh a truck. It's just like this thing, and you do it, and then you hit this call button, and then they weigh it for you, and then you have to go in and pick up your ticket. All right, so we finally made it home. Um, right now, we're just trying to get the car and trailer off of the truck so that way we can in turn back the truck up into the driveway um we have our friends helping us and pretty excited to finally get the heck out of Fort Riley so we'll be back in a little bit uh, I guess try and back this truck up we got Wilkins out here we got his friend Hill and Wiley and we're gonna be backing it up Oh my god, Wilkins is such a fool. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay, Abram. Sorry for the loud beeping. I have waited for this day for so long, y'all don't even know. Abram, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Abram! Abram is like freaking out. He is not liking this. All right, we're backed up, boys. All right, guys. I know I'm looking a hot mess. We have been like crazy, ridiculously busy. Um, our friends ended up leaving because they had things to do, and we still have a lot. Like not a lot, but we have like a, a somewhat of a lot to do. But we ordered pizza, and they just delivered it, but <laughs> they forgot to cut it. So Anthony ended up using his little multi tool or whatever to cut our pizza, but it looks really good. Like. Marco's is so good. So yummy. So now we're gonna take a little break, eat it, and then finish up. Good morning, guys. It is now 7.51 in the morning. <sighs> we didn't go to bed till like two or three in the morning and we are completely exhausted. Still wearing the same clothes from yesterday. And now we are just finishing up, packing up, and I'm gonna mop. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys. So we are finally done cleaning and now we are about to call the people and have them come check the house to basically, I guess, so we can clear it. But I just wanted to show you all like what it looks like when you have to clear house. So we got our car and the truck and then when you clear housing, everything has to be open, all cabinets and doors open, lights on so they know that they work. When you come into the kitchen, it looks like somebody done went crazy in here because all the cabinets are open. Everything is cleaned. Um, that's just so we can get Abram. We have to leave the keys on the thing. Um, we need to throw that paint away. And then Abram's in his cage and he is very upset about it. But this is what it looks like when you clear housing. Everything's clean, touched up. All right, so now we're pulling out of our house for the last time. I didn't think I would cry, but... I am. We want to go and go on a new journey. Let's get a last look at the house. All right. All right. Bye, house at Fort Riley. Bye, We're leaving. Riley. One last look. Bye. Good morning. It is now 6.54. Um, we kind of got a late start. Um, we're both tired. I did not sleep good last night. The hotel blankets were surprisingly just trash. Um, but we're about to finish loading up whatever stuff we have in here into the truck, check out, and then hit the road and hopefully get some food because we're kind of hungry. I just don't feel good this morning. But so let's go ahead and get on the road. And so we finally are in the truck. We're loaded. We got Abram up here chilling. We got everything set up. And we are right now heading off a of post so we can go get the truck weighed and go ahead and get on the road and then eventually get us something to eat because the hotel breakfast um, wasn't even ready and it was supposed to be ready at 6.30, but it's okay. We just gotta get on the road. Also, um, I'm an idiot because I accidentally left the window rolled down a little bit last night. So we're gonna have to try this morning. My seat was wet and the door is wet, but whatever, it's okay, it's fine. We're gonna get on the road, we're gonna do this and you guys are gonna join us along. 
because it's gonna be a long one. So let's get into it. All right, everybody. So we just got the truck weighed, um, and we're about to hit the road. Well, as soon as I get off here, we're gonna hit the road. But before we do that, we always like to say a little prayer for our safe travels. So if everybody would, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, thank you for all of our blessings. Thank you for everything you have given us. Please continue to keep our to keep us safe and healthy and our loved ones safe and healthy. And I just pray that we have safe travels and that we make it to Fort Campbell okay and that we don't have any other, no other roadblocks in the way of this journey. And I just pray that you guide us and protect us and put your hand over our moving truck and our car and of everyone else around us and just keep us safe, Lord, and get us to our destination in one piece so we can finally relax. Thank you again for all of our blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go, guys! Road trip! Ready, Abel? Going on a road trip, buddy! Bye, Fort Riley! We're leaving you! Bye! It was fun while it lasted, but... Bye! Peace out! Alright, guys. So, the time is now 9.52, and we have now... Just now started... Well, just now stopped to get breakfast. And we went to the good old trusty Ronald McDonald's. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle since McDonald's does not carry the bacon, egg, and cheese bagels anymore, which McDonald's, you need to bring it back. And Anthony got him the trusty -o, um sausage, sausage egg, and cheese biscuit with orange juices and the hash browns in the bag yeah, I'm gonna go with the picante sauce. I'm Dear praying. Lord, thank you for this food that we have received today. Let us give us strength and nourishment and lead us to your will. Thank you so much for all of our blessings. Please continue to keep us safe and healthy and our family and them safe and healthy. And please continue to keep us safe on our travels. Amen. always a rainbow after like a storm 
and that's pretty much describes this whole entire PCS move like everything we have dealt with with the leasing office at Campbell and the Penske people and just all the stress and everything and it's just very sentimental for us to that there's a rainbow as we are like only of like like <coughs> two and a half hours left so that's pretty nice hey guys so things are looking a little better um but we're still really tired and hungry and we still both have headaches but we have about an hour and 16 minutes left so we're trying to just power through it get get to the hotel get checked in and finally get something to eat but we started to roll the windows down just because it was getting stuffy in here and my allergies are already bad anyway because of the time of the year that it is but just being in the car is like stuffy and i've been under so much stress and so like when you've been under a lot of stress like your body just like my body is exhausted but we are about to be in kentucky and so we rolled the windows down and it smells like it smells so different than it does in kansas like it just smells so much better here and like i don't know if it's because there's more greenery or like it just smells so good like flowers and nature and just like just like home is what it smells like but i'll see you in a little bit all right guys so we are about to cross the border into kentucky Oh my god, I have missed this sign so much. Oh my god, we are in Kentucky now. And it is so pretty. Abram, he looks like he's getting cheerful. He's getting excited. And there's a pretty little sunset over there. Alright, hey guys. Um, I haven't I don't think I've updated y'all in a while. But I just wanted to let y'all know that yes, we made it in last night. It was like a 13 and a half hour drive. It it was literally it took forever. But we're in the hotel now tomorrow we move into our new house at 10 a.m and we are so excited we can't wait um we are so sick of eating fast food like we've just it's been awful um it's just it's not good anymore we want to eat a real home cooked meal I mean, it's not really well anthony loves to cook and i know it's been like hard on him to just have to not cook but we love to like cook and, but we're at their hotel and they had this buffalo chicken mac and cheese. So I'm gonna try that and hopefully it's really good. Um, this is the room, pretty plain Jane, boring. Um, right now we're watching America's Funniest Home Videos because after this comes, after this goes off, American Idol comes on and I'm so excited. So if y'all watch American Idol, comment down below on who who's your all's favorite is this season and let's just follow it along i guess um the bed is kind of thanks so much for watching guys um i really hope you enjoyed this moving vlog i know it's kind of all over the place um but to see the house tour go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video comment down below and yeah hit that smash button because there will be a giveaway at 500 subscribers and definitely a giveaway at a thousand subscribers so Go ahead, like I said, like, comment, and share this video, I guess, if you want you said to. hit that smash button. What? What? You said hit that smash button. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Just, yeah. Do. Did I say hit the smash button? Hit the like button. Whatever. I don't know. I'm tired. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>